Welcome to Good Knit Kisses Techniques and Tutorials. Hi, I'm Kristen. We're teaching techniques and tutorials at Good Knit Kisses to help keep you in stitches. <laughs> Today's clip is from a longer video, a, a longer tutorial that is a pattern. We are going to shorten it down for you today, so click on the link in the description below if you'd like more information or that full video tutorial. All right, let's begin. Okay, you've got your rotating loom, and I've got the uh, arrow right here, which determines the beginning spot. If you can't see that, I'm just going to place this little stitch marker on here so that you can see it on the camera a little easier. Um, I don't really need it. It probably will get in my way just sliding around, uh, but I want you to be able to visualize it. So I'm going to put my slip knot on. If you don't know how to do that, I've got other videos demonstrating, but I'm going to put on this first peg here and drop my, um, my tail inside. Okay. And then I'm going to go around and wrap around. Now, here's the important part. You need to use a stockinette stitch, not an eight, a figure eight um, or E-wrap uh, stitch, but you need to use a stockinette stitch, not for double knitting. You need it for single knitting because this is actually, we're using a double knit as a hack. Okay, this is a knitting hack for a single knit item. That way we don't actually have to purl. So you're going to watch this. We're going to go around straight across around no twisting go to the second peg in the front around and to the back and the second peg in the back keep going around this way all the way around the loom and you can go uh, to the left or to the right which one's whichever one is easier for you on the rotating loom i find that it's easier uh, right-handed to feed it with my right hand with the yarn and uh, move the loom with my left. Now, in this case, normally I go around twice to cast on, but because of the brioche stitch, it goes on really nicely if we just put the one layer of the first color. So this is our main color that we're casting on with. And then you're going to need a scrap piece of yarn. Uh, it can be the same uh, the same weight yarn or something a little lighter. I'm going to use the same because I've got a really nice bright color you'll be able to see. And that is just going to be some scrap yarn for an anchor. The anchor isn't going to be necessary for straightening up stitches in the end, but it is going to help you pull your work down. Now in the super bulky number six yarn, it's very thick getting it through this opening here. And um, you're going to need the anchor yarn to kind of help you pull it through there. It works, but I just want you to know about it. Okay, so that whole time I chatted with you, I wrapped one time around the loom. And just so you know, that takes about four yards just to wrap it one time in this direction. Thanks for joining me on Good Knit Kisses Technique Tutorials. Be sure to subscribe and also comment down below and tell me what techniques and stitches that you would like to see. Have a great day and happy knit and crochet.